Now, spokesperson for the NDC 2020 campaign, uh, James Ejenin Boatin, says the party's running mate, Professor Nana Jane Opokwajiman, will deliver a policy statement which will resonate with the masses and also gear towards improving lives. The party is expected to adore its running mate uh, this evening. James Ejenin Boatin has been telling us what to expect. She will be formally outdoored or inducted. So on this day, later this evening, Professor Nana Jeno Pukwajman will make her maiden statement, which is more of her maiden major uh, policy statement. Today, when you look at the political landscape, how many professors of her caliber do we have on the political landscape today? How many women have risen to the level that she has? How many of our politicians, male or female, have done many years plus in the um, lecture halls, lecture theaters, training people, grooming them, modeling them and shaping them up and making them take up all sorts of courses and professions. I mean, so I have absolutely no doubt at all that she is a fantastic person, she's more suited for the role, and she's maybe even overqualified for the role. I see, and you mentioned that um, she's going to make her maiden policy statement. What should you expect from that statement? Is she going to be the type where she would throw the finest job at the government, um, the NAFDO, the president, and then the Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, or, or, or what? What should you expect from the maiden policy statement? What she is bringing, what she brings to Ghanaian politics today is decency, dignity, respect for all. I mean, it's not about throwing jabs. Mm. There's a job to be done. Right. There's life to be improved. Mm. She brings a lot of those things to the table. So if you are expecting jabs and tantrums throwing, I mean, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, it, it does appear that perhaps maybe today's political office has become synonymous to that, and that's why you are expecting that. I'm sorry to disappoint you and all the people who might be expecting that. I mean, what Professor Nana Jane Upokwajman brings is dignity, self-respect, respect for the people who will follow the program, promoting courses that she's very passionate uh, about. So expect, and I think, I mean, she, she's, she's here to raise the bar, not to low. Well, head of our political decks, Evan Spencer, joins me uh, via Zoom uh, to give us some more on what to expect tonight. Evans, you had uh, James Ejenin Boatin saying that she is here to raise the bar. Uh, I know the conversation about what she brings on board has been going on for some time, but there's a reason why people should tune in tonight. Absolutely. There is a significant reason why you should tune in tonight. And the, you heard him say what Professor Nana Jenopoko Ajiman stands for and what her approach is going to be. What we're going to do tonight is to unpack that puzzle. I mean, there are things about the prof that you don't know yet. And that is why we are calling this ticket, Solving the Jane and John Puzzle. There, we're going to try and put the pieces together and answer the basic fundamental question, how the two combine to deliver victory for the NDC. Can they and will they and how should they? So you should watch out for the strategy notes, all based on real research and analysis. And so that's what we're going to do tonight. I mean, um, we expect this to be pretty revealing some of it a bit controversial, but you see the evidence. You're going to look at the story and the numbers. You're going to go all the way back to 1992 and track the history of the NDC, but also see how that history is relevant to this particular ticket uh, ahead of listening to her. Then, of course, once we've heard her, um, we're going to lay the foundation leading up to her speech. You will hear her speech address policy issues, and we're going to go into her history. You'll probably make more sense of what she will say tonight if you follow our, our analysis leading into what she will say today. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Very fascinating stuff later tonight. Very much cross for this conversation. But Evans, what time are we starting? I know that the uh, program by the NDC is at 7 p.m. at uh, the UPSA. We'll be there live. But what time should uh, listeners tune in for the ticket? 
I mean, you, you can expect this all the way from six. Um, we're going to start this all the way from six. We have a strong team, myself, Kojo Yaksin, uh, Winston, MFA Pau, Araba Kumsin, Parker. Uh, we're going to be all over this. I mean, this, by the way, is your election headquarters. That is what you've come to expect of us in an election year. And we're going to try and do justice to this and bring you um, on parallel analysis. I say we are, you can find this is the best political team anywhere on the broadcasting landscape. We're going to deploy all our resources to make this happen from 6 o'clock all the way to when they finish. And, of course, BMXS will continue the conversation. So this is going to be a part night of, uh, of, of real analysis, of breaking down the issues, the textual analysis, what she says, how she said it what she meant, what she didn't say, and what it means, and, and how she compliments John Dramani Mahama to deliver victory. So, yes, I mean, tune in from six. Very interesting then. I don't know why anybody will want to miss this. Thank you very much, Evans, uh, for bringing us some more detail on what we should expect tonight from 6 p.m. Radio TV Online will be live from the UPSA campus. You want to stay with us because this is your election headquarters.